In this video, I will be doing a Blackwing Descent boss breakdown and show you guys how we deal with the bosses to get the best boss results out of them. Before getting into the video, I would like to mention that only 23% of you guys watching are subscribed. If you like to help me grow this channel and continue making videos, consider subscribing. Now let's get back on the topic of this video. First off, we're gonna start with Magma. This boss is a bit tricky as it's fully on the raid's hand when the boss comes down. And from my experience, the past two weeks or so with Vergeard Raid, we're not able to do 3 minute cooldowns during the head since we used it during pull. It is possible, but it would be very late into the fight and you won't have full value of it during the stun duration. Currently, we're running our normal setup, but our main tank picks up constructs after head is down, so our Feral can just single target boss as well. We don't go down in healers as this boss is still very healing intensive and things could go wrong, but it is very doable to solo heal it as a paladin, it's just not efficient for parsing as head will die a lot faster and boss will be pushed much more than usual before it gets the stun. I suggest not using 2 minute cooldowns on pull anymore, but this is your choice if you want to do it. You can always delay boss going down, but I doubt if that's a good idea. Remember if your raid does a lot of DPS you need to heroism a lot earlier than usual, you cannot do it during head or you will lose at least half the uptime on it. Other than that, keep the construct on the guy who can cleave, such as rogues and warriors, and just blast the head ASAP. Omnotron is a very fun fight if you have mages. I will not go too much in details for this boss as it's heavily RNG based, but if you do have a mage, let Arcanotron sit in his own buff puddle so he gets stacks and let your mage spell steal them. This way they will do millions of damage and melt the bosses down to the ground with combust. Preferably you don't want Arcanotron to be the first boss to spawn for a mage as you want multi bosses to be active for them to really shine. If you're not playing around the mage, I suggest fishing for Toxitron first and hope that Arcanotron is next. Once Poison Puddle and the Arcanotron Puddle are down, you can just send your Heroism with all cooldowns and pump everything into the active boss while you cleave the off target. But make sure you don't break any shields because if you do that then your attempt is over and you will all die. I think in 25 man you might be able to use 2 minute cooldowns twice but 10 man you for sure cannot do that so I would suggest using cooldowns during the puddles. You can also do it a different method where Arcanot run is first and you just send everything with the first puddle. You can always cool down the puddle and not move out of it. And also as a red paladin you can make sure that you send some judges and exorcisms onto the oozes and help out with the range. And if you're a rogue, every time there is an off target around the main target and if it doesn't have a shield, turn on your blade flurry and just cleave them down. Maloriac in 10 man and 25 man at this point of the game with a lot of gear is a very tank and spank boss because phase 1 is a long ass phase and you could almost take the boss around 20% HP before he even realizes that he needs to go into phase 2. So during phase 1 you just want to have the off tank stack the spells in melee and clip them down. And as I said, in any good raid you should be able to push the boss at least by 75-80% to 80 before he even gets to next phase. And once that happens, just take the boss slowly to the top left corner while your HPAL is already positioned at the top right corner. You want someone to be low HP so that Paladin can heal them and aggro all the small adds into him. Once they reach the Paladin, you can just have him Divine Shield and while they're running back to the other players, just cancel auto it and they will go back to him and the boss should be already dead around that time. For Atramidis, currently the best method is to spam gongs and just keep him stunned all the way until he's dead. In this comp right here, as you can see, we're doing a solo heal paladin with 8 DPS and a tank, just to burst the boss down ASAP. If the guy who's gonging is very good at doing it and he can batch the stuns precisely, the boss never destroys any gong and while it's coming out of stun, also during the fight do not eat any discs because they do damage to you, especially once you lose your HP and there is no more gunks, the boss is going to be casting his flames and after that modulations, so if you're under 50% you will die. I suggest during this use divine psych, divine him, 
tranquility, anything that you have, rallying cry, just keep the people topped during flames and heal those that are low HP because of modulation and make use of abilities like AMS if you have it, AMZ and lay on hands and just top people off. Boss will easily die as long as you keep people alive and preferably if a caster gets brat on just wipe the raid and redo it because if a melee gets it it's a much faster kill time. Chimeron is a slightly orange boss but not by a lot. Preferably you want to solo tank this boss until the first field actually happens and then you just have the off tank pick it up. You always want to face the boss away from the raid for no parries and such. And the main tank who tanked it before field needs to pick it up at 20-21% to 21%, so the off tank can go back to DPSing if there are ferals or so. And you just gotta pray to orange gas from there that the main tank doesn't get hits. But if it does happen and they die, just have your off tank pick it up again, as they have the second threat anyways. Preferably, you want at least two massacres on pool to be a success. The first one is always a success, but the second one is RNG based, and you most likely want that to be a success as well, so the third one is a feud, and your main tank doesn't have that many stacks on him. Other than that, this boss isn't really that hard, you just need to position properly and not poison people. But you do not want to stop DPS at all during the fight. You cannot respect massacres, you just have to heal through them and push the boss ASAP. I don't think if I have to explain to you guys how Nefarian works, it's only Dominion based and there's nothing much anyone can do about their parses, which is why he's removed from the Ulsters anyways, so I will not cover this boss as it doesn't matter. As long as you're a lucky fucker and you just get all the Dominions, you will be rank 1 anyways. That's it for this raid, I hope you guys can pull off these methods and get some good parses out of them. Just do let me know in the comments if it worked out for you. My guild will most likely do some PTRs for Firelands and I will try and upload those videos for you guys so you have some idea of how the bosses works and get some understanding off of them but anyways make sure you guys subscribe and like this video to stay tuned for the next one and i will see you guys later